but they did everything they, they could. Ron and his team did everything they could to help him. They didn't want him to die. Sepsis is an overwhelming response of the body to an infection. So sepsis is triggered by an infection, usually a bacterial infection, but it's the way the immune system responds to the infection that causes the damage. The body becomes inflamed, the organs begin to function more poorly than they normally would, and if we allow this to continue untreated, the organs will fail and the person will go into multi-organ failure, will go into septic shock and will ultimately die. It's dangerous because it can be difficult to spot. Um, often patients present to healthcare relatively late in the course of their illness because they don't know what to look for. Sometimes doctors and nurses are not very aware of the symptoms and signs of sepsis. They don't know what to look for and the patient can deteriorate unchecked um, for many hours and even days. I think the best way a healthcare professional can reliably spot sepsis early is to have a high index of suspicion. Whenever a patient presents either to their GP or to a paramedic or to a community nurse or indeed to a hospital with something that looks like it might be an infection, then we need to be on the lookout for sepsis. We need to spot the signs and symptoms. The sepsis 6 is simple. It can be completed by any junior doctor working in conjunction with any nurse on any ward. We'd recommend, firstly, giving high flow oxygen. Secondly, sampling blood cultures and at the same time thinking of any other cultures and identifying the source. Thirdly, giving antibiotics, the right antibiotic, quickly. Fourthly, we'd recommend giving intravenous fluid challenges. Fifthly, we'd recommend sampling the lactate. And finally, measure an accurate hourly urine output. And we'd like the sepsis 6 to be completed for every patient within one hour following the identification of sepsis. Well, there are some shocking truths about sepsis. Sepsis is more common as a reason for admission to hospital than a heart attack. Sepsis accounts for over a third of expenditure on critical care. So at any one time you walk onto intensive care unit, a third of the patients there are likely to be there because of sepsis. Sepsis claims the lives of a third of people who have it. So it affects in the UK over 100,000 people and every year 37,000 of those people are dying from sepsis.